Hi everyone, welcome to a new Express Flute Tips video. Today it will be a Express Piccolo Tips video because I would love to share with you some basic thoughts I have about this instrument. So first of all, I'm not a specialist and therefore this video is not addressed uh, for Piccolo specialists, it's addressed for those students that maybe you are struggling a little bit now because you are starting to practice the Piccolo and you're finding a little bit of problems of, of, of intonation, of, of, yes, of placing of the sound, of uh, not having clean attacks, all these kind of problematics that we have, we are facing when we start to play the piccolo. And I think that most of that is happening because we are not used to it, because we are not specialists, obviously, and because although piccolo and flute have a lot in common, um, the piccolo has its particularities and we need to get used to, to them, okay? And also each piccolo is different and we need to be trained on that. Also, I think that the, in our professional lives we have to face that, we will have a lot of more opportunities and more chances and yeah, if we can play actually the piccolo and in chamber music there are a lot of parts with flute, doubling piccolo and we have to change to, 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 the, to that instrument and also in orchestral uh, playing, I mean it's much more easy that one has a chance to go to play a soup, substitute in an orchestra and have to play a piccolo part than being invited directly as first flute, no? Of course everything that happened in life but it's basically we have then more chances and it's 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 good i think it's something very very healthy for us also to to practice during our studies and yeah to have this ability also to play so first of all what i think basically is that we need to have a very relaxed and cool approach to it because basically what i think also that is the main problem we face and it happened to me when i started to play as well the piccolo and when I'm not so confident with it also, because we need to practice it regularly if we want to be cool and confident, is that we need, I think, to find a sound which is relaxed, very warm and without unnecessary tensions. Basically, that in the low register. So if we find this kind of very warm sonority, sweet sound in the low register, that by the way, it's a very nice register of this instrument. And we have we need to know that sometimes some people think it's a weak point but it's not i think it's very beautiful so simply having the instrument and try to ha to to have this feeling and play play some tunes play the same ex the same exercises one will do in flute and just just experimenting where is the feeling where is the placement of the sound and just enjoying that I would really recommend to, to set this sound as basic sound and from there we can start to build up uh, other things, of course, okay? I think that's quite, quite, quite easy to... not easy, easy to play, I mean it's not easy to find but it's easy to... to a starting point because then the problem that can happen with piccolo basically is when we start to, to have too much pressure. So. It's very typical from flute players that are starting to play a piccolo to try to find a sound which is more focused, more timbré, or yeah, more like that. And this will not be that that will not help us, especially when we go. It will be always easier. I really recommend you to do these very basic things, scales, scales with the piccolo and try to maintain the same feeling where we play Yeah, you see, it's trying to find um, yeah the same feeling that, that it comes from the low register. I think that's 
basic also in the flute we normally we do that no so we should do the same on the piccolo but for me it's very clear on the piccolo that the sound doesn't come from a very focused sound because otherwise we don't get a chance and then <clears throat> if we want to play relaxed in the upper registers we will only find this we will find this and not I mean piccolo has um, by itself um, it, it has a lot of pressure let's say it's very small we need a lot of pressure in the air to make it sound properly so everything that we can keep it cool we can keep it open will help then the last thing I can say just as a short first video about that is that it's very healthy I think to try to do oct octaves from the low register octaves and arpeggios of course as I did push right shirt or many other exercises as we will do with flute simply play play it as we will do with the flute and also trying to be very expressive always that's why I recommend you to play tunes uh, to play some melodies on it and yeah to do some octaves it helps me a lot to warm up on it so Yeah, uh, then I'm finding also what is a different placement because for me at least it's quite different. Uh, the way I place uh, the middle register in the piccolo, it's a different world than I do in my flute. Also, it's a different world how I place it in the low register as I'm explaining from the beginning. So basically, I think you have to experiment and for that we need to really play it. And yeah, do these kind of things, do exercises like... And try to, yeah, try to feel where the notes are and where are our feelings. And time, to, <laughs> slowly, it, it will come. And of course, maybe we are not specialists on that, but we can survive a project. We can play it basically more or less in tune. And yeah, we can enjoy it because also it's very enjoyable to play it with other people. But for that, we need to do something. Then another chapter will come that, that we have to change from one instrument to the other. And personally, for me, that's very, very difficult. Um, yeah, maybe in a, in a new chapter, I would, uh, I would speak about that, about some exercises maybe we can try all this. But this, this is a challenging part, of, to change from one instrument to the other because everything has to be very fixed and we have to change worlds very, very fast. But at least the, um, we will have any chance to survive, let's say, if we have a nice approach also to the instrument. So go for it, practice it, and don't be afraid. Just, just try it out and make mistakes. We can learn always from the mistakes. This is why I say it about the octavas. When an octava crack, it's good to analyze why, and then try to find the different placement, the different feeling that we have with the flute. Most of the time is because we are placing it as we did in the flute. And then it's like, yeah, it's not working. So basically, Try to try to follow your instinct, but it will be different than in the flute, so you have to train that. Thanks a lot, see you in the next video.